What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, oh yeah, it's time to bring the bongo videos back. And today we're gonna do some weird warm up. Yeah, we're gonna start with warm ups to kind of get these videos going and uh, feeling good. But it's a weird one, but you gotta love it. You already know what day it is, it's Tutorial Thursday. <laughs> Welcome to Percussion Life, my name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button. Also, hit that like button. Kinda helps me out spread the word so people can know about a Percussion Life and learn videos like this. So please, hit that like button. It really does help me out. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all your patience. Cause man, it's been the day ones that been asking for more bongo videos and I'm excited, I'm trying something new. I'm gonna not try to use a stand as much. I'm gonna be using actually a stand for some other stuff and hopefully share that with you in the future. But uh, it's gonna work out in some different angles uh, as you're gonna see later in the video. But uh, yeah, I do wanna uh, continue making these bongo videos, but I get a lot of demand for um, like gonga tutorials. So. Um, you guys let me know, because uh, if you speak Spanish, you know, solo hablo español, we have Taco Tuesdays. And I was thinking that um, maybe starting like Mondays be just dedicated just for bongo, and then Thursdays it be gongas. Or you guys let me know, um, or if you guys prefer another day, what day you guys like to learn something. It'd either be like Friday, so uh, I could switch whatever I post on Mondays and maybe to move it to Friday. You guys let me know. Um, this is a community. I like to hear from you guys and if you guys, you know, like a specific days like Bongo Mondays or something like that Y'all let me know man because this is about y'all. I want everybody to learn at their pace their convenience and um, But uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of demand from Bongo stuff and uh, But at the same time, you know when you get people wanting to learn about, you know different patterns on congas it kind of backs up the queue you know people want more stuff but today i actually wanted to show you um a a very weird exercise it's kind of like a tongue twister on the bongos and it's gonna involve opens muffs and a slap and it's really how would i say this how can i say this it, it, it's kind of like a tongue twister but again this is just an exercise you can eventually use it as a, like a lick or a combination or whatever, but it's really meant to kind of, you know, mess with your mind. It's a tongue twister, very simple stuff, but at the same time, the, the language of it is what kind of throws people off. But yeah, let me show that to you guys so we can uh, get the ball rolling. All right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're starting off weird. Some weird craziness right here, but you gotta love it, y'all. You gotta love it. But yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. As you notice, it seems like it's not a lot, but there's a lot going on. And what's really going on is, again, like I explained earlier, opens, muffs, and slaps. But the placement, it seems like it's a phlegm. It seems like it's just, there's a lot of stuff going on. And later on in the video, I'm gonna count it slowly so you can end up hearing how I'm actually chopping it up and where I'm chopping it up. But to start the exercise, I actually start with an open on the embra with my dominant hand. But here's the tricky part. After doing that open, what I'm actually going to do is a muff immediately after that. And that muff is going to take me to an open with my non-dominant hand on the macho. So it's basically open on the embra with your dominant hand, muff on the embra with your dominant hand, and then immediately you're going to do an open with your non-dominant hand on the macho. So it's gonna sound like this. And then to finish off this first part, what we're actually gonna do with our non-dominant hand 
is like a open muff kind of on the macho right after doing that open. So it's like you do the open and then immediately after you're gonna rest your, you know, your finger right there to make kind of like a muff sound to kind of repeat that pattern. But just to put that one first part together, it's gonna sound like this. It's crazy. And you're actually going to do that three times. So you're literally gonna do that three times before ending this kind of exercise. So it's gonna sound like this. Crazy, right? It seems very simple, but you'll get to see like, oh wait, it's an open muff, finger open muff. And it starts becoming a tongue twister, especially after this next part. So after doing that muff with your finger on the macho, since your dominant hand's kind of free, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna cross over and we're gonna do a close slap right on the macho. And that is what kind of adds the pop as well gives you time to rest to keep on doing this exercise. So it's gonna kind of help you then navigate to the next part. So to kind of just put it all together, up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. It's crazy, but again, just doing that by itself, you know, you could get the hang of it. But the hard part with this exercise is to keep on going with that kind of feel. So to play it just a couple times, it's gonna sound like this. And then when you start speeding up, it can get really, really, really intense. But I love it. It's challenging and messes with your mind. It makes sure that you're doing especially that muff open. So that muff from the hembra to the open to the macho, that that, that part makes it really clicky and, and, and adds a different kind of dynamic and depth to this exercise. And if you know it's there, I actually added a ghost note right after my close slap to help me go back to doing that open on the hembra. It really helps again. You're gonna start seeing when you do this exercise, you're gonna start adding just something else to help you guide to keep on going with this exercise. But to count it slowly so you can see how I'm placing it, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, But yeah, guys, please take your time, practice at home, and as well, just know that, you know, these type of exercises, although you may never use them in an actual live setting, they're very beneficial and they really help out um, understanding kind of placement and tones as well. It really trains your mind to say, hey, I want to do this tone. And then, hey, I want to do this next tone without really kind of stuttering. And it really helps you out with these type of weird exercises. Again, this is an exercise. Please, if you want to make it into a beat, hey, hey, more power to you. Cool. That's, that's kind of nice. Want to lose it to a lick, a combination, cool. But at the same time, I use it to, to warm up, to exercise, to help me kind of get back into rhythm and understanding, hey, you know, this is where it's at. This is where I gotta figure it out. But all right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the continued support, man. And I really do hope you guys enjoy these Bongo videos. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.